And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for the return of Mono Black Discard. We played this on Tuesday, and we did well with it, and it was a lot of fun to play. Uh, Y'all on YouTube really liked the video also, so let's let's run it back. Let's uh, try it some more. Um, not really changing too much. As you can see, the main deck, we're keeping it the same because we liked it before. Uh, sideboard, remember how I played the two Elder Spells, and at the end of the video, talked about how I wanted a little bit more... Uh, removal for early creatures so talked about changing those to disfigures instead of elder spell so that's the only change that i'm making just the one that we we uh, talked about at the end um i guess to talk about i guess maybe i should start by talking about the, the uh, point of the deck if you're watching this new and you didn't see the one on tuesday but of course the point of the deck is to make our opponent discard their hand we have duress and vicious rumors <clears throat> to play right away um you know vicious rumor makes our opponent discard a card Burglarat, Fenlurker, makes them get rid of cards in hand. Um, finish that up with Davriel after they're already discarding a few cards. Make them discard some more, and plus we can get Davriel to be able to sit out there and do damage to our opponent. Um, both Davriel and Vicious Rumors were both very impressive last time uh, whenever we played. But Davriel and Rankle are kind of like our, our top end cards. Rankle is just awesome. You know, We can make both players uh, discard cards. So again, we can get that extra discard in there. We can have each player sacrifice creatures whenever we're playing these little 1-1 creatures that we don't mind that they die. So if they, you know, my opponent just plays a creature, we hit them. We can say we both sacrifice. We sacrifice one of those little 1-1s. And then we can have both players draw a card also. If we're sitting with an extra discard effect in hand, um, you know, we have an extra one of these creatures or vicious rumors or something, we can say, all right, well, and they're out of cards in hand. We can say, well, we'll both draw a card. And now afterwards... We'll uh, cast Vicious Rumors or activate Davriel and have them just discard that card again. But then we get that extra card. And, of course, Rankle's a pretty fast clock, being a three-power flyer um, with haste. Got some removal with Murderous Rider and Legion's End. Extra card advantage with Midnight Reaper. And Ayara can get some pings and extra card advantage as well. And that kind of finishes out our deck. Top end, we got Citadel. If, if you know, we flood out and everything, we can just have the Citadel here. I'm still not sure this is the best top end card. Uh, maybe this should be Liliana. Or honestly, maybe this should just be out of the deck. And then you could take out another land and play two smaller, uh, like one and two mana stuff. And we just take out Citadel and take out a land. That could be the way to go as well. Um, but yeah, I kind of like having like the one top end card. We play against Control, slam the Citadel, um, <clears throat> and everything like that. Um... Oh yeah, yeah. Gruel aggro, yeah. Gruel aggro was was pretty tough for us. Or like that, I think that's probably like our, our worst matchup because those creatures are just really big, and uh, it's hard for us to, to line up with those, and they can empty their hand pretty fast. So, yeah, gruel aggro's are probably our worst matchup. It's true. Um, uh, let's see. Um, that's kind of that's kind of about what we got going on here. Um, but yeah, the 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 citadel again. Maybe that should be like a Liliana. Um, but we'll we'll try it out as Citadel again. And then the Scheming Symmetry, we didn't draw it whatsoever last time. But the point of this card is it just could be a, a fun card to play with. Um, where All right, so how it works, you know, you both search your library for a card and you put um, shuffle your library, put that card on top. So we want to pair that with Vicious Rumors because then we play Vicious Rumors and they mill over the top card of their library so they don't even get that extra card. We can also pair that with the Rankle Trick of... They have nothing in hand. We play Scheming Symmetry. They put something on top. We rank. We attack them with Rankle, make them draw the card, and then we make them discard it afterwards also. But yeah, so like this this possibly could be something better um, as well. But it's just a cool little uh, combo. We want to see if we can get it, uh, get it to work. We never drew Scheming Symmetry the last time we played the deck. All right. Uh, yeah, Mono Black Discard. Fun to play. Let's let's go ahead and lead off the stream with it here. Um, I'm just going to play some leagues today. We've been doing ranked the last couple of days. I feel like doing some leagues today. Winning some gold. Hopefully. All right, so we're going to pay our 1,000 gold. And let's see how we do. You played against it, and it's so hard to beat. You played against this deck, and it was really hard to beat. There we go. Yeah, this this deck, it's all about disrupting the opponent with all this discard effects and just making it so the opponent's 
hand is is bad basically it's not like our it's not like our cards are great but we basically make it so our opponent uh, has a real hard time and I love how our opponent mulliganed so they're gonna be on the play and they mulligan and this this actually deck that we don't really mind our opponent being on the play because that's one less card you know like we get to draw that extra card so it's actually kind of good for us if they're on the play um, so is Duress going to hit against Forest? It's possible that Duress whiffs, and that would be the worst case scenario. Darn. So yeah, wish I would have Vicious Rumored. Oh, there you go, Zerf Gifty is out there. Oh yeah, Zerf's one of the best. All right, so we're facing our worst matchup to start with. First match. And our Duress whiffed. Not great. All right, so we could pair up a couple of rats to kill a Zerta Goblin. The reason why I led with Duress is because I thought it was the best chance that, that it would hit there. And turn three, Vicious Rumors was going to make them discard a card no matter what. <clears throat> well, I mean, I guess they could also just not have cards in hand. But like, it's not like Vicious Rumors was going to whiff on turn three. But I thought that there was a chance that Duress would have whiffed on turn three. Yeah, Wrinkle. Yep. We need, we need a Wrinkle. That would be... A great draw. But see, this isn't so bad. They got a 2-2 two -two and a 3-2, and they just got three lands. They're going to have to just discard their hand. You know, we can double block <clears throat> and trade with one, have our rider trade with another. I hope that's an Ember Cleave in hand. That works too. All right, we'll get Davriel out here. Start doing some damage. All I've left you is pain. But yeah, all their, their haste creatures can be pretty rough. They like probably Collision Colossus, yeah. <laughs> Grulego crumbles before the might of rats. The mighty rats. Keep on drawing these uncastables. Ugh, what a whiner. I love how we got rid of the Spellbreaker, 
because of course Spellbreaker um, has Hexproof. Loneliness can hurt. Mm. Yeah, we can lose three life. Get that good old life link back. Oh, I should have. I should have made them discard with that real, but whatever. Good. We good. Is a terrific thing to waste. Okay. So you can see, even even though this is our toughest matchup, our, we can still just have games that, that go really well for us. Like we had a really good hand that the game went really well for us. My opponent mulligan to six. Um Yeah, basically everything went well for us. But you can see that just um kind of the power of our deck. We just kind of make our opponent's deck look bad <laughs> that's that's what our deck does it tries to make the opponent's deck look bad all right so we're gonna bring in these noxious grasp probably won a couple of disfigures as well um not so sure about more legions ends or not i don't know maybe probably take out the symmetry the the citadel um the duresses and Maybe just play the two legions end with having two disfigure. Hey, what's up, boot? Thirty-nine month streak. That's three years. It's more than three years. Man, I've been streaming for more than three years. Thank you so much there, Boot. Hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Definitely hoping no Nullhide Ferox. Oh, man, I forgot about that card. <laughs> I think I'm going to just take out a Davriel for the last card. Um, you know, if we're behind, which we kind of... Good chance that we will be. Davriel's not going to be as good. Here, and all the haste creatures just hidden Davriel. I'm going to take out one of those. Oh, yeah, going good here. Yep, going good here. Um, had a good weekend so far, and we are we have some some fun decks to play here. Yeah, hopefully no Nullhide Ferox. That would be bad. Oh yeah, mono black discard. We're playing eight rack in standard. We're just I wish we had smallpox. That'd be a good one. Okay, we'll give it a try. I would like to draw vicious. Yeah, Vicious Rumors. I'd like to draw that for the first card of... Uh, I thought that was it. It's close. It looks kind of similar. <laughs> you feel bad playing these kind of decks? Nah, I can't feel bad. It's nice when both players can play the game and have fun. Uh, I don't know. They're, they're playing the game. See, they're, they're attacking me for four. That's so rude. I'm not doing much attacking. I'm playing a little 1-1. One, one. 
I'm playing commons. They're playing mythics. Shouldn't feel bad. Yeah, it's scheming symmetries for vicious rumors and stop. Ow. I wish I could double spell here. You know, I wish I could Legion's End and Murderous Rider. Code of Rankle. But then we take another hit for four. And they, they're just going to sacrifice the Druid. Of course, I'm holding the Burglar right back because I don't want to attack for one and then they attack for two. Like, that's not a... That's a very poor trade for me. And this is why... <laughs> this is why this is our hardest matchup. They just play Mythic after Mythic after Mythic. It's really difficult. And unfortunately, my removal spell makes me lose two life. We've lost six life with Murderous Riders. Oh, well, GG's. Would have had a better chance on the play there. Could have maybe got that wrinkle in. Yeah, Gruel Haste is probably good for Cascade. Um, Cause I haven't really thought about it. Yeah, that's right. We have the Cascade event for tomorrow. I haven't really thought about it a whole lot, but yeah, Gruel Haste seems like that's a good deck to play. I, I kind of feel like I don't know. I don't really know what would be a bad deck to play, kind of thing. Like if it, you know, like you don't want to play Counter Magic because you, you don't want to Cascade into Counter Magic. Um, so honestly, just playing proactive things because you know even you cascade into a removal spell, but they don't have anything for you to kill, kind of thing. So like reactive spells aren't as good. Proactive spells are better. Hey, there you go. You won two best of three matches with Mario enchantments today against Gruel. Good job. Good job, JRC. So I'm guessing deck deckmaster is still not working. It doesn't look like it's working on my end. All right. It is harder to <clears throat> make them discard their whole hand while when we're on the play. But I think it's just it's just worth it to be that that turn ahead. Hey, Mr. God to you with the Twitch Prime stuff. Thank you so much. Welcome to the channel. All right, got a couple of new subs today. Awesome. Um. <clears throat> oh, thank you so much, Mr. Guy. Do you thank you so much? A long time fan, love your decks. I don't like our chances here with this hand with Pelt Collector Paradise Druid so far.
And Suns Live. Also new sub. Getting some more hype boats in the chat. Thank you so much. Enjoy the emotes. Yep, this is a pretty bad matchup. Oh, wow, that is just so perfect. That love struck piece making a 1 1 for my wrinkle. That could just not be any more perfect. Well. Yeah, we talked about this at the beginning. This is probably our worst matchup. My opponent's hand doesn't get any better than turn one Pell Collector, turn two Paradise Druid, turn three Spellbreaker, plus put a 1-1 one, one out here. It doesn't get any better than that. We haven't seen any of our four Noxious Grasps yet. I need I need cheaper stuff. Need to be double spelling. Yeah, like this is this is bad just drawing all fours and threes and fours now. That hurts. We can't double spell. Hey Thrice. I'm hoping this last card's not a 1-1. One, one. They don't have very many 1-1s one, in their deck. I'd be pretty unlucky if they had another 1-1. One, one. Okay, good. Not another 1-1. One, one. We obviously we can stabilize this battlefield. The thing is, is Gruel has some some really really bad draw steps for me. Yeah, because you know they could have drawn like you know Ember Cleave, Hellkite, Questing Beast, that kind of stuff. That just it's really brutal. But they did not. They whiffed. Ant-Man, uh, with that Twitch from sub. Thank you, Ant-Man. I didn't see the notification. Did the notification not pop up for Ant-Man? That's unfortunate. Doesn't look like it. Yep. Speaking of brutal draw steps, there's one right there. Um... So I want to have the lifelink creature in play. Game's not over at all. I think I have to hold back a wrinkle to not die to a Hellkite or a Questing Beast. I think that's what I have to do is hold back wrinkle.
Well. That was close. That was really close. Could not be too much closer. But we picked up the win. So yeah, GG's. That was that was some good magic right there back and forth. Some good quality magic. I wish I had something on turn two, but maybe our draw step will give us something for turn two. This is a fun deck to play. Games are close. Alright, so they mold to five. I mold to six. So we're just reducing resources over here with Vicious Rumors. Get rid of one of our resources, trade it for one of theirs. Yeah, yeah, so you said, did you consider sacrificing the rider for two life? We could have, yeah, we could have um, attacked with the rider for two life, but there's there wasn't really too much difference. Like, I... I don't die to Bone Crusher Giant. The the thing is, if we do that, um, I don't have like lethal going back at him. Like it, it'll be, it could be difficult to finish the game off. Um, you know, if if they have if they do draw, like if I if I just sacrifice that for two life, and then they and then if they draw Questing Beast or Hellkite, and I have to chump with Rankle, then I only have two power, and they're at four. Um, and then, and they're going to have lethal again the next turn after I, right after I chump locked with, with Rankle, and so we could have been dead. Um, so that is, that's more likely to draw one of those than another Bone Crusher, and they've already drawn two Bone Crushers. Hmm. Good job, managed to get the plat through all the Oko and Oven Familiar decks. Good job. Looks like we have one of those decks that are combined together, an Oko Familiar deck. My my whole, like, we both sacrifice a creature bit isn't as good against Cauldron Familiar. They missed their land drop, so I knew they had all spells in hand. Hmm, that hurt. All right, but now they don't—they don't have any spells left. They just have this Gilded Goose and this Cauldron Familiar. Two lands. It's not very many lands. 
to work with. Of course, we have this castle that can draw us more cards too, and and the Ayara. So we're looking pretty good right now. My opponent could just draw an Oko, and it goes from pretty good to terrible real fast. Thank you. Thank you for letting me attack for one. Hopefully that one point matters. I will rise again. See a rat. So I can double pump the Fenlurger to make it a 3-3 and just kill the Murderous Rider and then make it a lot easier to attack with these things. Let's draw another card. I already played my land, didn't I? I thought I had so many expensive cards in their deck. Why they they're only playing two lands. Why why do they have all these things that cost five and six mana? Ooh, got rid of the Yoko. That was big. And milled over a land. But yeah, they drew they drew another Oko. So they couldn't play it because they only had the two mana. Alright, so I want to draw a land here so I can activate Castle and play Davriel. Ooh, that's not bad either, though. That's not bad either. They should be attacking with their Murderous Rider this next turn for lifelink. I'm honestly pretty surprised they're blocking with the Gilded Goose here and not just taking the three and then attacking with the Murderous Rider for lifelink next turn. Oh, come on. Revel with your king, wild and sovereign and free. It's like the only only good card they could draw is You're their third or fourth Oko. Okay. They only have three mana. That's it. Like nothing else is gonna do anything. Make this quick. I'm bored already.
Trade Wrinkle for Murderous Rider. Mm -hmm. I can just block with the Cauldron Familiar. Yeah, that was that was such a brutal draw for me. No, attacking with Murderous Rider makes no sense. It allows them to put their 2-3 in front of my 2-3, and they get to gain life. And basically cancel out the other attack. It's 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 not a good attack to attack with the Murderous Rider in, in that scenario. Well, that was probably their next best draw with what their mana situation looks like. The Gilded Goose is awesome. something for you to dote on. Hey, thank you so much there, Blind. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Hmm. So we're in, a, we're in a really rough spot here. I had, a, I had to refresh my channel. Like they, they're ahead now, just on board. Yeah, the lag happened. I had to re refresh my channel with the chat because my hypotes went away. Because now they have this engine of sack, sack cauldron familiar. Bring back Cauldron Familiar. That does two to me. They gain two, and you know, make make a food with Goose. And now they have the Trail of Crumbs engine. It's insane that Oko draw. That was their only hope. Ugh. Yeah, maybe we'll draw spells. It's possible. We could draw some spells. Unfortunately, I've already gone through three wrinkles. I made the the decision to discard that other wrinkle earlier, and that hasn't worked out. Hey, what's up, Riley? Man, we had we had this game. Oh, that's sub number seven. I'm behind one. We had it there for a little bit, but now we don't. I mean, we have to kill a Yara, first and foremost. Jeez. I don't know. This is this is maybe just over. I mean, if I draw a wrinkle, we have that's that's the best draw. We just draw some more land. What a whiner. This is one of the most disappointing games I've played in a long time.
just do another familiar. Why not? Why not? So they found the 8th, 4th Oko. They can play it this turn by sacking the Cauldron Familiar. Oh, that was bad. That was a bad decision. They definitely should have sacked the fourth, the Cauldron Familiar to the Witch's Oven to make a food and then cast o Oko. I'm just going to make them discard it now. That was just a bad decision all around. If they just if they don't tap out, they could even just put something into their hand with trailer crumbs here by again going that route. Yeah, that was the the worst possible play my opponent could do. Probably won't matter. We're so far behind, but I don't think you'll be needing that. <laughs> yeah, the opponent's tilted now. Yeah, they. Yep. They definitely deserve to be pretty tilted. They haven't had very good luck. Loneliness can hurt. Oh, and we sit and wait. A lot of dust stuff. I'm going to have Kryler Carnarium after sideboard. I'm mostly going to be using to try to... Um, try to exile these Cauldron Familiars for good. Yeah, to play limited ranked, there's... Um, if, you don't, if you don't see it in the menu, there's a button around this area on the main screen where my cursor is right now that says something like arena play modes and it's actually a switch that you need to toggle now you may not realize it um and if you toggle that switch it'll go to all play modes and then it'll have all of the modes available in the start menu after that Yeah, that was a tough loss. Yeah, that they top decked the card they needed with that third Oko, and then I drew, yeah, the five swamps in a row. That was rough. So Noxious Grasp is like the thing that I'm not so sure about. Like Noxious Grasp is is really good against um Noxious Grasp is really good against Oko. But there's not really other anything else in their deck to Noxious Grasp. Like, you know, probably maybe like Golgari Queen. But that's kind of about it. So it's a pretty narrow card. But it just gets rid of like 
one of their most important cards. All right, let's give this a try. Correct, yes. Limited limited means draft and sealed. So yeah, draft and sealed. Those two are those two com combine limited. Limited means you have a limited card pool to work from. You just use the cards that you open up um, in packs. It's a tough call which one to do with Legion's End or Noxious Grasp. If I had a second Legion's End, like if I had two of each, I would be using Legion's End. If I had, if I had one of each, I'd be using Legion's End because I'd want to keep Noxious Grasp for Oko. If I had one of each. Thank you so much, I'm teaching strategist. Who's more foolish? Yeah, I told me that a couple weeks ago. Yeah, that's that is pretty awesome. Yeah, so yeah, thank you so much. Oh dear. No, my Davriel. But at least my at least Davriel traded like with, with Inoko. How I took out the the Bola Citadel, honestly, I should have taken out a land. I think, you know, like my last card that I cut was the fourth Midnight Reaper. I should have kept that, and I should have taken out a land. I grace you with my lack of with taking out the six drop. Yeah, three mana Nissa. There. Sure, why not? Open your heart to the magic. Why not? Surely so I need murderous rider. Punished. Oh, just exiles the card that I need to draw. Really? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, Chipper. The scheming symmetries are getting stuck in your hand. Yeah, that, that card could definitely go. Um, I I just I haven't even drawn that card yet. You know, I put it in the deck. 
as a fun up to, to, to try out um, originally, but I actually just haven't even drawn it at all yet. But yeah, good, good chance that the card should not be in the deck. Well, maybe these cards will be banned on Monday. Bill, Summer, and Oko. Possibility. No, I don't have any special special deck for the Cascade event. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. GG's. We, we didn't really have much of a chance in that match after pack. After they had the third Oko. Uh, and I really didn't have anything except for lands. I, I should have sideboarded out a land. But it would not have mattered. I mean, it, it. Yeah, Anamusha it depends on what what happens with everything. Um, we'll have to see uh, what all changes in standard on Monday. I think I should still turn one duress. I don't know. They're mulliganing a bunch. Maybe I turn two duress. The the reason to turn one duress is that we could draw a two drop to play on turn two. The reason to turn two duress is we let the opponent draw one more card so we have a better chance of hitting with duress. If this is not a two drop, I would want to play duress on turn two. The only reason why... I'm going to wait... The only the only way this hurts me by waiting one turn is if that was, you know, like one of the two mana creatures. All right, so Daffriel is going to um just, you know, die to one of these things but make them discard a card. Also much Whoa, crazy pyro! Coming in, gifting some uh, subs out. Thank you so much, there, crazy pyro. So we got some new subscribers. They get to use all their awesome emotes and everything now. We got NS Mash, Black Hat Hedgehog, Navy Seals, Durs, uh, Shin Sational. Welcome, y'all. Thanks, crazy pyro. All right, so that's sub goal there. And Parappa the Unrappa getting into double digits with 10 months as well. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much, everybody.
that's a sub train right there. So discarding Bone Crusher Giant. So yeah, this is kind of an, a weird opt, right? Because they cast it right now, they get the counter on the Fairy Vandal, but if they cast it during my turn, they get the counter on the Cutthroat, so they can't really choose both. I want to do this now before they before they draw a counter spell. Mm. Oh my gosh! Crazy fire up! It's going crazy. Thank you so much, Crazy Pyro. Gifting out five more subs. We got some more new subs. That means we need more new hype. Um, Trinity, Lictorlurm, Carvaki Beb, uh, Merlarky, Will. Yeah, fires deck. Yeah, what what kind of fires deck would you like, Crazy Pyro? What flavor of fire fires? I'll play a fires deck tomorrow. I think I make my opponent sacrifice a creature, and I sacrifice a creature also. I just don't know which one I really want to sacrifice. I guess we're gonna go a Yara. With the Murderous Rider being a lifelinker. And also clearing out my hand is good. Jeskai Fires? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, uh, the Jeskai Midrange that we're playing up next also... Well, yeah, I'll write that down for tomorrow. But the Jeskai Midrange that we're playing up next is kind of like a Jeskai Fires deck just without... Fires. All right, so just got fires. Tomorrow. Do you have a? Whoa, blinds getting in on the action. Do you have do you have like a time slot for second, third, or fourth that you that you'd prefer? Thank you so much there, blind. Our new subs, we got Plague Vendor, Doc Dr. Roxo, number 15, John's Corn Lover. <laughs> Frisky Biscuits! Get in here too! Oh my gosh, there's just so much hype going on in the chat right now. So much hype everywhere. I'm mysterious. Refined! Could sacrifice a creature because you know, like they're just taking lethal. Could just sacrifice my my um, wrinkle for fun. <laughs> Crazy! I'm proud to start the sub trade of 2019. This was the sub trade of 2019. Um, yeah, that's 20. So that's 28 subs on the day already. All right, so that's two sub goals towards our next 12-hour stream. We're getting pretty close to the next 12-hour stream now. 
All right, so they're playing like Jeskai cards, or was it just Is it? Maybe it was just Is it? They're playing Is it cards. <laughs> one day, Thrysol. One day. All right, let me check over here. I'm not sure what I really want to do here, if anything. I don't think I really like the Legion's End that much. I feel like Disfigure is a better Legion's End for this matchup. So that gets us to 14 sub goals out of 20. How are we doing? One minute? To finish the sideboarding? Alright, updating that. 14. Never mind. Update this. 15. Drug Wizard! Oh yeah, I can click click the view battlefield. Yeah, it looks like they're just Jeskai. Or sorry, <laughs> just is it. Drug Wizard, thank you so much. Um, I got I gotta finish this this up here though. Cool. Yep. Yep. I got you. I got your deck there. Crazy Pyro. We're good. Um, do I just run it back? My graphics changed. There's too much hype. I'll just run it back. Up to thirty three. We have five new subs, thanks to Santa Drug Wizard over there, Deathcore Ripper, Sessi Ness, Darkside USA, Chris Michael, Apache, Capo. Uh, so 33. There's just too much hype. <laughs> Man, this has been amazing. Thank you so much. Um, everybody gifted these subs here. Of course, Crazy Pyro and Blind and uh, Frisky Biscuits and Drug Wizard. I think so. Oh man, I haven't thought about Crazy Train that song in forever. Got, my, our high school band used to play that song. I thought about that song in forever. So there's a Brazen Borrower. Or a, a Fairy Vandal. Sure, we'll just kill that right now. But I feel like... So, you know, like, Legion's End would do the same thing, but Legion's End is sorcery speed and everything, and against these flash creatures, I think we need the instant speed answers. Even though Legion's End would be able to see their hand and take more of them. <laughs> You're only 26? Oh, man. That's not old at all. That's the good old days over there. Ooh, result. With you so probably have another flash creature to kill Davriel, but at least it will trade with something and gain us a little bit of life. Ooh, that does not kill Davriel. Let me pick your brain for a minute. Yeah, that kills Davriel. Yeah, Crazy Train was like a song from, uh, I don't know, 40 years ago now? 30 years ago? That was a long time ago. Hmm. Kind of want to just rider this Stormkin. Maybe I should kill the Spectral Sailor. 
They don't get to draw cards. It was released in 1927? Never mind. Almost a hundred years ago? That's a long time. Okay, actually 1980. Okay. So I was like, yeah, that must have been just like a, a remake by Ozzy or something. It was like 1927. How's it? I don't know. I'm gullible. <laughs> Ozzy is immortal. What's up, Key Muriel? All right, so if it's 1980, I said 40 at first. So yeah, that's 40 years. That was my first guess was 40. And that's 39. Close enough. I'll count that one. Thank you so much, Key. Thanks for the reset. A terrific thing to waste. All I've left you is pain. All right, so our deck does. We just try to outgrind them. They do have lots and lots of lands, though, so they get to play whatever they top deck. Ooh, good. Okay, I'm, I'm glad that was Shock, not Bone Crusher Giant. Or I thought that was Bone Crusher Giant. Now we get to gain, t you know, get that life link in, which is pretty. Important for our castle lock twain here. Want we'll to draw this card first so we don't take an extra point of damage. Ooh. We get to scheming symmetry. What are we going to go get? Do we go put... Do I still have Bola Citadel in my deck? Oh, I guess I probably want to get a removal spell for the... For the Murmuring Mystic. I do have Citadel, though. And I'm gaining four life a turn. I should probably grab Citadel. Yeah, I'm getting Citadel. So that's going to be my, my play for next turn. <laughs> no time for a sensible choice. Go for the greed. <laughs> no, because we we don't get to draw these cards. Like, they just go to the top of the library. So it's not like I, I can't duress it away. But... Vicious rumors that that other part put the top card of their library into their graveyard. So we get to put that card in their graveyard. So they chose Spectral Sailor, huh? Yeah. 
8 mana. This is just free. Because we lose a life, we gain a life. Uh, yeah, go to 12. Ooh, go down 9. All right, skimming symmetry was sweet. Hmm. Down to four. We go down to one, then back up to two. Oh, no, 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 do not do that. No, never mind. We would definitely die if we do that. Because the, the Midnight Reaper triggers would, would go first. Yeah, if we, if we activate Citadel because of Midnight Reaper, we die. Those, you would first put the, the Citadel trigger on the stack... And then all those things die, and so then the Midnight Reaper triggers go on the stack afterwards. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we do not want to do that. All right, let's reset Arena. Arena had too much hype. Yeah, see, it's getting pretty slow here. Too much hype. Needs a reset. Uh, no, we didn't really see counter spells from them. Yeah, no, it was it was kind of a, a different uh, kind of is it deck there. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're two and one. Got a good win after that disappointing loss. Yeah, Arena's still buffering that hype. Yes, they did. Yeah, about the memory leaks. Yeah, they they mentioned it in the October um, October state of the program. That's something they were going to be working on for the next few months. The November state of the program that they just had recently, um, they said that they have fixed a lot of problems or like they with like the memory leak issues or like there should be. Um, a lot less of that after the t the update on the 21st. So, yeah, the update next week, um, the one on the 21st, will hopefully have uh, a lot of performance issues gone away. Hopefully. So we go first...
<laughs> my faith in Watsi fixing anything programming related based on MTGO. One out of ten. Yeah, I mean, how incredible would that be if we had no arena restarts? No, our worst matchup again. Oh, uh, and I mold the five. And we're stuck on lands. Yay, we got two things, though. So th this card's still a threat, even if it's not very thrashing. It still can just be a pretty big threat there. But we need to draw land so we can Murderous Rider, the Questing Beast, and this threat. Ooh, got rid of Adamri Chaos Bringer. That's big. Hey, Dekine. GG's. GG's. All right, leading with the threat. That was a perfect lead, too, because I just drew the duress that would have hit that. It's a good play there. Um... I mean, I guess I still just cast this, see what they got. Okay, we got a shock. But this looks like this is going to be us getting smashed here in a little bit. Ugh. Ow. Ow. Ow, that hurt. Okay. We got a card we can play. Hey, Sir Eccles. All right, down to five. Maybe they just draw nothing the rest of the game. Uh-oh. So yeah, I could play Murderous Rider to block to stay alive for one turn, but then I'm, all I'm doing is trying to draw like another Murderous Rider, and that, that thing's going to just kill me. Alright, so bringing all these Noxious Grasps. Um, cut our two one-ofs. Trim a Davriel. And trim a land. Oh, I, I don't need four. I don't need three duress, probably. Oh, you didn't have your notifications turned on? No. Well, I'm glad we cut a land. All right, let's both mulligan. We'll go to six, you go to six. Fair game. Swift and the threat token first due to legendary restriction. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I could have definitely could have uh, swift ended the the threat token first because then yeah, if they have another questing beast, I could I could have definitely got punished there. Because um, then they couldn't play the the other questing beast yet. To be honest though, if they had another questing beast, I was gonna be I was gonna be losing that if they had another questing beast. Kind of regardless. So we've made him discard Lava Coil Forest Shock so far. Or no, Lava Coil Shock Mountain so far. Alright, really hope they don't have Ilharg. Because Ilharg... Ilharg is not green. You're welcome, Ocelot.
Oh, that's a good one. Wrinkle's a good one. Man, they make that thing a 1-4? How am I supposed to get, get through that? Uh, might as well hold back, I guess. <laughs> the 1-4 reach. Got me. Seven lands and none of them one of the castles. Uh oh. That thing's kind of big now. A two four. Nothing but dust when I'm done. I don't really need to pump up the Fenlurker here. We'll just do the one damage over here. I'll be back after I've licked my wounds. You'll see. Hey, Frank. Happy Saturday. We're having a good weekend. All right, we're going to game three. See, so, yeah, I want to cut back on a couple of these duresses. Um... Guess we'll play an extra Legion's End. And a drill bit. Get a Davriel back in here. A disfigure. I don't really want to play any of these cards that are in my sideboard. Honestly. I'll play a drill bit. <laughs> this is magic. Swift and the Arboreal Grazer for the win. Hey, all right. You ran Boros Knights of the Dailies. Went 15 and 5. Perfect. Love it. <laughs> when you have to use Murderous Rider on a Grazer, you know it's going down. They're just going to get rid of all the cards in hand. That's what, A Boreal Grazer just gets rid of all their cards in hand so that I don't get to discard anything. I think I want to play like, you know, I, Legion's Ending Goblin's not bad, but I think I want to just try to get, you know, get a, you know, have Burglar Rat actually take a card out of their, their hand before they're empty. They mold to six. <laughs> Okay, cool. Like in the Kaya Esper combo deck? Nice. Thought about blocking Grazer. But I didn't, so we're here. No one has seen my perish the thought. I assume they have a collision colossus with how they attack with the Grazer. Yay, got rid got rid of an Ilharg. Loneliness. 
can. Uh, Okay. Three and one. Our only loss so far was the person that drew millions of Okos. Okos for free. Millions of Okos. Okos for them. Yeah, beat Gruul t twice. That that Gruul list wasn't optimal. But, yeah, still, we're beating Gruul. <laughs> don't, don't remind me of that guy. Yeah, you're, you're rooting for our opponent because anybody who runs a gener generous trade deserves the win. I can support that. Uh, what does tempo mean in a deck name? Good question. Um, here you go. Here's a lesson on tempo, I guess. Um, basically... <clears throat> All right, we're going to need to draw lands. Yeah, basically, um, it's trying to slow down the opponent and have, you know, um, get a good enough board presence faster than your opponent to, and slow them down um, and eke out a win before they get to, like, play the cards in their hand and everything. The question is, is it like chess tempo buying you time for your own moves? Yeah, I guess I would that seems like a a good description there. I'm gonna lead with the thing they have to exile first. So they have a cauldron familiar, they gotta exile it. Okay, they're just getting rid of that land. Ah, all right. Milled over another Oko. All right, they got this trailer crumbs is going to just get him so many cards. Huh. I honestly wasn't really wasn't really expecting the rankle to hit them. I was kind of expecting them to murderous rider it or block it, like one of the two. Are you kidding me? Why does this always happen? Why do they always just draw their third Oko right away? Always. That's three for three games against this deck. Three games against this deck, and they just keep on drawing. Like, I deal with the first two Okos, and we're okay, and then they draw the third one, and then I'm just dead.
You are blind to your folly. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. Boo. It's not poison. Trust me. Surrender now, I'll still have time for tea. This is just over. All now that witches have it, now I can't even find, now I can't even draw allegiance at now to exile this familiar. I mean, I, I guess like, if I draw Murderous Rider to kill the Yoko, we have a chance. Empty your mind. But just this this engine here of Cauldron Familiar, which is of in Trail of Crumbs with all this mana, just gonna outgrind me. GG's. I don't like Leyland in the Void at all. I'd, I'd much rather just have Cry the Carnarium. I don't, I don't really like Leyland in the Void. Perfect. Stop lagging. Come on. Come on. I don't think you'll be needing that. Yeah, I need I needed my opponent to sack the witch's oven during combat. I, I could so I couldn't attack with two midnight reapers because if, if I attack with two midnight reapers, they just block both of them Struggling. and then they both die and then I can't legion's end. Uh, yeah, D before they can do that, but I also have creatures that's attacking them. So usually they need like their cauldron familiars to block and stuff like that. But yeah, if, if they just always have their Cauldron familiars in the just starting 
the ga starting my turn on the graveyard. Let's broaden your existence. Then yes, it can be difficult for me to get rid of them with Cry. Why do you cross me? Let's tidy up in there. I guess I could have played the Burglar Rat and kept Avriel around. Uh, no, Ashiok does not solve. Don't have a land there. Oh, come on. Ugh. So of course, if they would have kept it in hand, we would have been able to make them discard it. Um, a super friend Jeskai deck. Your new look is enchanting. No, I don't really have a super uh, Just Guy Super Friend deck. It's always the third Oko. It's just always the third Oko. We always get rid of two Okos, and we're a little bit ahead. We stabilize the battlefield. We're a little ahead. We get rid of two Okos, and they top deck the third Oko and just take over. It's happened three out of three games so far today. We don't know if they're going to be in Oko or not. They're going to announce on Monday what cards will be banned or not. We don't know. We don't know if Oko will be banned or not right now. I kind of think I may take out Davriel here. Davriel hasn't been looking so great. I mean, Oko gets played in lots of formats besides standard. The, the price will drop if it gets banned, but it, it will rebound. Like, it will rebound, so it, it's not that big a deal. Um, well, Noxious only, only kills two cards in their deck, you know, Oko and Gilded Goose. So, 
doesn't make sense to play just tons and tons of noxious because you know could you know we could just be getting killed by trail of crumbs and uh, and everything else. Um, but I like duress. Like there there's a lot of good targets to duress. Witches oven, trail of crumbs, those are great things to duress. So I like to rest in this matchup. Thanks, Eracles. All right, so not bringing back Cauldron Familiar yet. Rambles of truth twirl and curl, choking out lies. Let's broaden your existence. Fine, remain blind. So I can I can pretty much assume that that's them wanting to play Masker Girl. Okay, so getting rid of the goose means they need to draw just another black source to be able to even play Masker Girl. Um. Just play this thing. It's better for me to play like the Midnight Reaper for like on the battlefield, of course. And just like mana wise, everything like that, but we should just get rid of that Masker Girl. Just in case. So this time my opponent only had the one Oko. They did they haven't drawn They didn't draw three Okos. So if they if they would bring back the cauldron from Oko, they could do six damage to me. 
having triple Midnight Reaper by blocking the Femlurker also. That would be me drawing six cards, of course. Okay. So yeah, the duress did not look that good there. Admittedly. And we do know they have Rasko Golgari Queen. So yeah, we'll take we'll we'll go ahead and do that. We'll take one out for another noxious grasp. I can't see the chat because there's a cat in the way. <laughs> Opponent's gonna submit a, a bug to Watsi. I put four four Okos in my deck and I didn't win. Well they only lost game two. They can still win the the match. Play green mana yet. Alright, we found the green mana. Open your heart to the magic that dances around. Welcome to the feast. So Murderous Rider uses my mana a lot better. But I feel like I'm supposed to noxious grasp, because it's a it's a card that has less applicability. I'm gonna use my mana better. I don't like how expensive my hand is right now. This can set me up to like play Rankle next turn and then Reaper plus Grasp the following turn, or or if they have another Oko, we could have like Grasp plus a two drop that we draw here. They didn't play a lance, they've got like three spells in hand. Like, do I discard like a Midnight Reaper? Because I think I'd want to keep the fifth land to be able to have, you know, be able to like have the ability to double spell next turn. Um. No, nah, maybe we just don't keep the fifth land. This is rough. I want to get rid of that last card. Yeah, I guess we just do that. Yeah.
give them, you know, we're killing the Murderous Rider, but giving them the option that maybe they would have killed the Fen Lurker instead of the Midnight Reaper. But that also gets one of the Midnight Reapers off the battlefield, because it's, it's tough for me to have both of them. Be good. Massacre girl. Pretty easy block there. I only actually take two damage because we gain two life with Murderous Rider. If they draw nothing but lands, I actually win the race by just attacking. Because, like, we're going to kill them in four turns, and it would take them four turns to kill me. Right? Because, let's see, we go up to seven, then down to three. And then up to five. And then down to one. And then up to three. But that's... So that's seven, five, three. Oh, no, I guess I don't win the race, do I? All right, no attacks. Ha. Huh. Well, that's pretty good. Let them draw the Overgrown Tomb and then mill over the Oko. Now they draw the Breeding Pool. Just perfect timing. So I go down to two to activate Castle. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a great Vicious Rumors. Grab a cal cauldron's familiar. Oh no. Oh no. What a killer. All right, wrinkle. You couldn't have come like ever before, Fenlurker. 
while I still had a Yara out and get that trigger. Well, that's probably game. Unfortunately. It's probably game. All they have to do is find anything. Yeah, you know, like their top two cards. They just gotta find something else that makes another food. Why would you want Spawn of Mayhem in grindy games? Spawn of Mayhem is not a grindy card at all. You don't want something that does a bunch of damage to you in grindy games. It wins games quickly. So it's, it's a fast clock for you. But also matches up pretty poorly against Oko. No haste. You play it. They just turn into an elk. I don't know. We have a lot of like three and four mana cards, which is what uh, Mayhem or that uh, Spawn of Mayhem is. All right. Well, unfortunately, yeah, we kind of drew those Legion's ends at the wrong time. Um, it's all hindsight, of course, but my the turn my opponent made the attack, the the turn that that I lost that game, was whenever my opponent had the Masker Girl and two one ones, and they attacked with all three creatures, and I blocked the two one ones to gain life and still be able to have my two blockers for the the um for the the Masker Girl. That turn, if I just double block Masker Girl, um that game is just completely different. I, I probably would just win that game if I would have just double blocked Masker Girl. Yeah, I would think I would have just won that game because, you know, we we drew we just ended up drawing Legion's End that would have exiled the 1-1s. One um, they would have been gone for good, and then I would have been able to just be attacking there for two, like all of those turns that we were just sitting there looking at the Masker Girl. And, uh, yeah, that that was that was the decision that cost me that game. Um... Anyway, still a good deck here. You know, we lost we lost to Oko. It's, there's a reason why it's the best card in the format. Um, that happens. Um, those are all of our game losses, basically, were Oko. Uh, I was happy how we did against Gruul. We played against two versions of Gruul. One, one optimal, one not so optimal. But even against the optimal deck, our, our, uh, our deck looked pretty good. Um... It does kind of feel like Panavia. Thank you so much. I think the next time that I play this deck, I think I am just going to go ahead. You know, I wanted to try out scheming symmetry and stuff. I think I'm going to move away from scheming symmetry and move away from the Citadel, and I think I'm going to play two Lilianas. Um, we get to six mana quite a bit, and uh, especially you know with the help of Midnight Reaper. And I think Liliana's could could help shore up some some problems. Like there's like creatures creatures that don't die to Legion's End or Noxious Grasp are pro are can be problematic. You know, like we have the Murderous Riders, but that's about it. I think Liliana's minus four can really help out our deck. And then also just you know like the the plus one, and then like that first trigger of like you know we get to draw more cards and everything. I think that's what I want to do. I think that's that's like the top end card that we don't have that I should have, that I haven't been playing. Um, so yeah, I think I think that's the thing to do is kind of cut cut the two like one ofs that I wanted to test. Um, ooh, Panavia moves us to 35 there. And oh I didn't I didn't get my hype boats in the chat for Panavia. Nine months. Thank you so much. I wanted you know to try out those those uh, spicy one ofs and stuff and and give them a try, but I, I think that just the the power level and consistency will be raised by moving towards Liliana. I think that could uh, could help out a lot. Um, cyborg, like so, you could have Spyglass for that matchup that we just played, but there's honestly just way too much stuff to Spyglass. Like you, you kind of you know like like what we're we gonna Spyglass like Witch's Oven and. Trail of Crumbs. Both need to get Spyglass, but obviously you have to name Oko, otherwise Oko turns Spyglass into an Elk, but then also whenever you name Oko, then they just use Golgari Queen to, to destroy your Spyglass. So you have to, like, 
you have to name Oko, and then you have to name Golgari Queen, and then you can start naming the other stuff. It's just it's just a headache. I just don't think it's really worth it um, to worry about that. I think I think this would help out a, a lot. I think that that the two Lilianas helps out quite a bit there because Liliana is very good. No, Ayara's good. No, yeah, the Ayaras are good. Um, yeah, like, they're just fine. Like, Ayaras just work really, you know, can work really well with these things. Thanks, Leps. Um, but yeah, I could I could see getting rid of one of them. Like, you, you may not need the second if you want another different threat. Yeah, like a, a Dread Presence. Maybe, but that also maybe just kind of raising the curve a little bit too much. Um, maybe one of the Ayaras for something that costs one or two mana. But I think the Lilianas will help out a lot. Okay, uh, there we go. That's Mono Black Discard. Still a fun deck to play. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, please hit that like button over there. Hit the subscribe button and also leave some comments. Let me know what you think of this sweet deck here, Mono Black Discard. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.